Hey everyone, welcome to House Call. I'm Dr. Ruben Brock. I'm here with Danny Miller. What's happening in the world? There's a lot going on in the world. Everybody, right now, everybody, I, every all over social media, all I see is people talking about their stimulus checks. So mm-hmm. the stimulus package was signed, right? Yeah, finally. Um, and individuals are getting checks for like fourteen hundred dollars, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and I then, think that's what it is. And then couples get double that. And then there's a bunch of money for kids, right? Separate? So outside of the so. 1400 I think so, yeah. Yeah, you get money for kids, too. Okay. Um, is this the second? This is the second one, right? I think it's the third. It's the third it one. Is, it is. It's the third one. I didn't see either one of them. Really? Straight to bills. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Um, but... Yeah, so so um, everybody's talking about this stimulus, which I think is wonderful. But I I just think it's amazing that not not a single Republican voted for it. Amazing, but not surprising. I mean, right? You're not surprised, are you? I'm not. But at the same time, it's just like, come on, really? Mm-hmm. How's that even possible? You mean to tell me not a single? Republican in Congress believes that their constituents needed that money. Not one. Not a single one. Nobody in West Virginia needs that. Nobody in South Carolina needs that. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like, how? how? How's that possible? They're playing hardball. Yeah, but what's for what's the goal? What's the. It started with Trump. It started with Obama. It started with Obama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it didn't start with Trump. It started with Obama. Mm -hmm. It started with with the tea party with with them saying we're making sure that he won't be successful we yeah. want to make him a, a one-term president and of course that didn't happen but that animosity stayed and mm-hmm. then donald trump came and it went to another level I, I would say yeah certainly and and so this the whole like animosity divided politics thing really became a problem mm-hmm. i mean no it was a problem. It was a problem under Obama. Yeah. And then it, it reached a new height. And in my opinion, it's just my opinion, Donald Trump took it to another level. Yeah. There was no holds barred with Donald Trump. They at least tried to mask it in other ways but, before. But Well, no, but what I'm saying is like Obama didn't. And listen, what I see, everybody sees the world through their, their perspective, right? So, mm-hmm. you know, like I've said before. I'm I'm the flaming liberal. I'm like I want I want I want I want leaves and and grass to have rights. I want everybody mm-hmm. everything should have rights. Yeah. Right? Um so for me I didn't see any I didn't see Obama doing anything that would have been a glaring error. Like I didn't see Obama doing anything that was no. like, oh now I didn't like his use of drone strikes. I will say yeah, that. Yeah, that was kind of why. He used a lot of drone strikes. Mm-hmm. I was like that's awful good old boy of you, in my opinion. It is. Like, I mean, I thought you were supposed to be different than that. Mm-hmm. He's out there just like, pop, pop, pop. <laughs> just, you know what I mean? Somebody like, up there. I mean, like, he did. Yeah, he did. I think it was like more drone strikes than any president ever, which probably isn't difficult because before that, pro- how, really, how many drone strikes were we doing back yeah, in 1982? Right. You know what I mean? Did they even have drones? That's what I'm trying in- to figure out. I, yeah, where I did don't that think start? So. Probably, maybe under Bush. W. Yeah, it sounds about right. That that's I Who was can't, before Bush Clinton. Clinton. I I don't remember there ever being drone strikes. I don't know, but Obama took the drone strike thing to another level, um, which is like you said, it's whack. It, but that's not a reason to be uh, completely. Yeah, I, you you can't use that as an excuse to say I'm not working with him at all. The first armed drone strike by the U.S. took place in 2001. Okay. Help Pro- me, probably right up. after 9-11, maybe. Yeah, right? so like you said, Bush. Bush, yeah. Yeah. And then, so yeah. then there's Bush. Who was after Bush? They tried to kill the Taliban leader, uh, Obama. Bush was at Obama was after Bush? Yeah. I'm terrible Obama is the reason, or Bush is the reason that Obama got in. And then Trump is the reason that no, Obama is, is the reason, reason that Trump, Trump got, got in. in. Yeah, everything is a reaction. It is. Yeah, everything is a reaction. But anyway, but you're right. It was the the first attempt was used by the CIA, but failed to kill Taliban leader Malah Omar. 
oh, in really? Afghanistan. So yeah, you were right. And so that was really my only knock on Obama. Was, yeah. was the use of drone strikes. He got a little carried away, if you ask me. But ain't nobody asking me, so it doesn't matter. But Trump? Uh, let's go. What? I wish Obama would have been a little bit more aggressive. And I understand why he wasn't allowed to be more aggressive with prison reform. Yeah. You know I, mean? I, I mean, yes, I, I agree. understand why. I, I just wish he would have been. Knowing, if we would have known that Trump was coming. Yeah, you should, probably should have done With all his brash. Yeah. Yeah. Because, religion. because here's the thing. If Obama had had a presence presidency that looked like Obama's, yeah. If wait, what? No. If Obama, yeah, I said that wrong. If Obama would have had a president has a, had a presidency that looked like Trump's, yeah, with a, with as many executive orders mm -hmm. and just kind of like, I'm doing it my way. I don't really care. We're not trying to even use legislation. Yeah, I'll buck just, the you, system. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna go with executive orders. Everybody would go nuts. Mm -hmm. But then, it, because they they accused Obama of that. They accused yeah. him of abuse of power. And then those same people that accused Obama didn't accuse Trump. Mm -mm. So then you Excused have Trump. Excused Trump. Right. Yeah. So then Trump comes in and he's doing a lot. And and my, my knock on Trump, I have so many knocks on Trump, but... Um, him just not having a focus on actual average Americans. Mm -mm. Like it just seemed like wealthy people had a good time. Mm -hmm. And for a little bit, the economy was good because he's focused on business. Well, he inherited a really good economy. That's true. Right. He inherited the booming economy that Obama built. Mm -hmm. And I mean, he kind of just dropped the ball with the whole, uh, corona thing and now here we are he would be president if he handled that the right way i think you're right he would still be president no doubt but but that's that's i mean it's a silly thing to say it'd be like saying i would have lots of female attention if i looked like michael b jordan mm -hmm. well yeah, if, yeah. <laughs> you know like if, obvious i mean if if trump wasn't a complete idiot he would still be president mm -hmm. yeah 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 <laughs> but i mean that's a big if but it's his it, it's that that got him in the office that got him elected because he is a big idiot and people responded to it people love it yeah you know why though you know why people this is off top we're not even supposed to be talking about this but you know why people love this is this is a thing this is so you know what i i study for a living the way human minds work people identify with him because they they don't feel dumb when he's talking when, when Obama's they can talking, relate to what he's saying yeah. by the way he says it. Yeah, when when Obama's talking, there's a segment of America that feels talked down to. Yeah, he's an elitist, right? Because he's so smart, and and that level of intelligence, it's hard to hide it. When did we start losing that? It started with Obama. Losing what? Losing the 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 need and the the desire for our leaders to be well spoken and strong yeah, and confident. Yeah, I, I think that a big change happened during the Obama administration. But because, because here's the thing, Obama is like above average intelligence. Yeah, and you can see it. You mm -hmm. you can hear it. You can, you know, and and you don't take my word for it. Ask anyone who studies this particular concept um that you know measuring of intelligence there are signs there are things you can look at and you can kind of tell you can get a ballpark figure on like you know i can i could probably guess your iq within you know 20 points or something like that you um, could i think i could yeah really yeah because if you've done enough iq tests you kind of get a feel for and not I need to know a lot of stuff. I need to like, all right, what do you do for a living? What do you, you know, like, and, and, and when I was, I was taught by someone who said the same thing. Yeah, I could, I could probably ballpark it based on a conversation with you about certain things, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying that's, that's not science, but I'm just saying yeah. it, it, it's clear. It's evident that Obama is very, very intelligent. Mm -hmm. And you ever, you ever talk to somebody, you just know, wow, this dude is really yeah. smart. Yeah. Because they're making connections yeah. that that other people aren't making, or they're making them very very quickly, mm -hmm. um, and and the integration of language 
And now that's it's a certain kind of intelligence. There's more than one kind of intelligence. And and you know, don't be fooled into thinking that that the person that doesn't present this way is not smart. That's right. not true. Yeah. But what I'm saying is the kind of intelligence that we measure a lot is pretty easy to see. Mm-hmm. And and Obama had has has that in droves. But that scares people. Because because people who aren't all that smart feel dumb yeah. when a very, very smart person is talking because they're like, I can't keep up. Yeah. Especially when he's black and they're white. It's it's a wrap. Yeah, it's over. I'm not dealing with that. You ain't gonna be over here talking down to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. who does this uppity nigger? I was gonna try to edit, but I, I but already why? Knew. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll finish that sentence. I knew he was going. To. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna finish it. I, I was trying to save y'all. You I thought you mean? were handing. I thought you were that, feeding you, that it to was me. the lob. Yeah, <laughs> throwing it down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> two points for Danny. Yeah, there you go. But they're not having that. No, no, they can't handle that. No, they don't want any parts of that. But that's where it started, and there are books about it. The death of expertise. People, people are saying like. These smart people aren't going to tell me what to do. And I see it on Facebook all the time. I'll be on in a conversation and, and people will be like, you know, don't don't try to use all your, you know, I'm like, all my intelligence, all yeah, my no. knowledge. What do you, you don't you would rather me. Fo- I remember I got into an argument with somebody and. He was heated and I was like, I don't think we should do this. I don't think this is a very good idea us being this mad at each other about this particular issue. I don't think that makes any sense. Mm -hmm. And he was like, don't try to reason with me. And I was like, well, what do you want me to do then? Yeah, it's very difficult, especially for somebody with like with autism, like you is really difficult. to see. All I do is logic. Yeah. I don't understand the use of any other thinking process other than logic. Like, what do you what would you like for us to do in this moment? yeah we we just like have our feelings run wild and then like when we get angry enough we just start throwing punches at each other why that's dumb this problem probably was exacerbated a little bit by facebook um oh there's there's no question everybody has this voice where they feel like they can say what they want yeah and with validity and the problem is because it's social media you can't tell who's yeah an expert and who's not right everybody seems equal yeah like if 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 I'm having a conversation on Facebook with some random person about a psychological construct. We are not equals. Right. And and the fact of the matter is I probably shouldn't be in the conversation, to be honest. Because That's what I remember always telling you that. Yeah, why, why are you, you even engaged? talking to them? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because but but you know me, I can't handle mm-hmm. just be like, ah, walk away. Yeah. That feels rude to me. But the fact of the matter is you don't see Neil deGrasse Tyson on Facebook arguing about the cosmos mm-hmm. with random dude from high school. Right. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. that doesn't make any sense. Right. But what happens is because people don't have the ability anymore to recognize when an expert is talking, they listen to the people that they want to listen to. Yeah. And 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 you gravitate toward the people who say stuff that you like. Mm-hmm. Which is That's dangerous. Which is where Donald Trump comes from. It's so dangerous. You know the 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 people who didn't like Obama and felt bad about that under Obama, they got permission under Trump, mm-hmm. and now they're running wild and they're doing their thing. But you follow that all the way to the end, and now you got Republicans who are afraid to use common sense and do what's best for the country because they know that their constituents still want Donald Trump and that kind of politics. And so they're just saying no to everything, even though it might make sense for them, for them, for their constituents, for the country, it's just to get to get a group of people like that to vote against their best interest. What what you would need, and I've said this before, we would need for high ranking Republicans to have a very public meeting where they acknowledge 
this is a farce. Yeah. You would have to. There's no other way. Yeah. Because right. because if Joe Biden, if I, if you say, come on, folks, stop, mm -hmm. they're going to say they're trying to trick us. It would have to be, it would almost have to be like Donald Trump Jr. or something. Somebody like, somebody who you know wouldn't just be on the other side. But right? I mean, even when Lindsey, if you remember Lindsey Graham saying the election was not rigged, it was fair. Yeah, but but that was getting that's harassed. a one off. That's a one off. I, you need they you need, need to be yeah. They need to unite. It needs to be a meeting that is televised. Yeah, where, like a like a town hall meeting where where like a focus group or something. You need you need like Ted Cruz and and uh, Mitch McConnell and and like let Romney be in there because Romney he'll he'll keep it real on him. Rom yeah. Romney has been willing yeah, to call him out. He's the only, I think, is he the only true conservative left? Yeah, you're probably right. That might be true. I can't think true. of another one. He's the only one. McCain was real. Yeah, he kept it real. He I mean, I don't agree with any of their policies. Let's yeah, but, keep but that. I, no, I, I agree with some of Ms. Mitt Romney's, I called him Mitch. Yeah. It's Mitt Romney and Mitch McConnell. Mm. I, I didn't dislike Romney. No, I don't hate, I don't hate him. Yeah. Not I mean, necessary. here's the thing. When I was able to choose Mitt Romney, I chose Obama. Yeah. But if today I had to choose between, you know what? I, I don't even know. I'm No, I would choose. I would probably choose Biden over Romney. Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I would choose Romney over Trump. Every day. I mean, I would choose Cruz over yeah, Trump. Yeah, exactly. I would trust Cruz. My son, Cruz. Cruz is, how old is Cruz? Six. Cruz is six. Very preco precocious young boy. Mm -hmm. um, I would let him, I would legit let him be president. Yeah. Before choosing Donald Trump. Or Lindsey Graham or Mitch McConnell or Ted Cruz. When did Ted Cruz turn? When he was born? I mean, but Ruben, do you remember when he was running against Trump and Trump yeah, was talking, talking shit all on his wife? Smash. Yeah, he was talking all kind of trash. And Ted Cruz was not having any of it. But now they're buddies. He's carrying his water. But that's how you know. That's how you know that it's politics. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's a game. And I'll tell you what. I, I See, my problem with this stuff is that I'm too, I'm too logical. Yeah, me too. So when when... Like, for example, when, uh, who was it? I'm trying to think what it was. It was in the primaries when it came down to, uh, who ran against Trump? Who? Oh, it was Hillary. Yeah. Oh, Hillary. Damn. Yeah. I, I really couldn't Why think Why did I freeze it. for a minute? Yeah, Hillary. When Hillary got the nomination. And Obama came out in her in favor of her. I was like, I don't care what you say, because mm -hmm. you don't get to have two two different opinions, right? Because you just told me why you don't like her, right. When you ran against her, I hate when they do that. D don't come at me and tell me what you like, because mm -hmm. I will remember mm -hmm. that you told me you didn't like her. Kamala with Biden. That's what I'm saying. You can't do that. Yeah. Because if it was true when you said it the first time, then it's still true. Right. I, I don't understand even after Trump, why during the Democratic primaries, why they were going at each other so hard like that. Listen, in my opinion, see, here's the here's why here's why I'll never be successful at politics. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. And like so right now, right now, like t t so I'm a, I'm a be I'm a keep it a hundred. I never say that. I hate I hate that saying. But I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I, I don't think I'm qualified to say that. <laughs> I feel like you gotta be a little. You blacker feel out of place saying it. <laughs> you gotta be a little what? A little blacker. <laughs> I feel like I'm not there yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I, feel I don't you. know. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think you could say it. You think you I can say it? Yeah, All right, I'm gonna keep it a hundred. I'm gonna keep it a bean. Yeah. That's what, yeah. I'm going real deep into it now. Yeah, that's right. Do you say that? Do you, I've heard it, but I've never said I, it. I'm gonna keep it a bean. That's mm. a, you know who says that? Dara's brother. Really? Is that a Jersey thing? No, he's in. He lives in Philly. But I think it. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's a hood Philly, thing, I guess. Philly has their. Own they have their own thing. Language. But I, well, that's a digression. Hold on. So all right. So like right now, 
today, in this moment, if I ever ran for office, it would probably be for state rep, right? Because that's theoretically the most logical thing for me, okay? But my state rep right now is somebody I ha- happen to actually like, mm-hmm. right? Um, so if I, if I let's say I run against him, which I don't have any intention of doing, but let, let's say I run against him. Somebody asked me, what do you think of your opponent? I'd be like, I think he's a good dude. Mm-hmm. I like him a lot. We don't disagree on very many things. We've had conversations and, I, you know, here's where we kind of veer. But he's a solid dude, family man, blah, blah, blah. And, and, and in politics, you're not supposed to do that. No, which is crazy. I don't understand that, though. You won't make it. Just like you said, you won't get far. Right. That, and like that's that. why I wouldn't make it because they'd be like, well, even he likes his opponent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But why would you have to dislike your opponent? Right. And first of all, let me say, Tim, I ain't running against you. Don't worry. It, it ain't happening. I ain't got time for that. Yeah. But. If someone were to ask me, like, what do you think? I would be like, I like him. Mm-hmm. That's how it should be. But but politicians don't do that. Uh, only McCain. John McCain did it. Yeah, he did it big time. He did it on national TV. He did it when the stakes were high. He did. And I have so much respect for that. Yeah, that's one of the biggest moves I've seen in politics. Ever. I can't think of anything that was bigger than that. And think about how high the stakes are because they're saying this dude is a Muslim. You know, this dude, he's running against a black person who who has this scary sounding name. Yeah. Right. Very intimidating. All you it's a layup. All you got to do is be like, yeah, that's true, man. We're going to get him. Yeah. And and you win. In my opinion, if he rides that train, he wins. Even if he just let her say it. Yeah. Even if he just let her say it. But he called her out. There are enough people in america who were afraid of blackness Mm -hmm. he could have wrote that out yeah that's what that's what that's what trump did he could have wrote it out Mm -hmm. but he didn't because he has integrity well he's no longer with us but he had integrity yeah but you don't see that today you don't if you ask somebody any random person who's about to have a primary ask him about their primary opponent they're gonna tell they're gonna run him into the ground Mm -hmm. every time and if that's not logical. They couldn't all be terrible people. Right. That doesn't make any sense. So what it means is that you're lying. Right. Yeah. Right. Definitely. I mean, when I ran for office in my primary, my primary opponent literally lied about me, literally made stuff up. And I'm like, this is a primary, which means we're on the same side. I forgot about that. Theoretically, whoever wins, the other one should want them to succeed going forward. But you sir are lying why byron timmons if, if you want to well i wasn't gonna name him but, but he should be named <laughs> but that's the truth yeah, yeah. it was cold yeah like straight lies mm-hmm. made up stuff why yeah. why do you do that that's politics i don't in my opinion that's the flaw in politics is that we no longer require them to be honest it's the root uh, yeah. the root in my opinion is greed yeah but we have a culture that no longer values honesty, right? Integrity. We don't value those things. Yeah, yeah, Tr- yeah. Donald Trump comes in and totally dismantles. I'm not giving him that much credit. We were lying long before Donald Trump. Yeah, but he took it to another level. Yeah, he just took the lid off of it. He took it to another level. Mm-hmm. There was a sense of decorum before him. Yes, right. I guess that's what I was looking yeah. for. But. Character what? actually kind of mattered back what? in the day. What were we even talking about? What was the it subject? It was vaccine. The no, vaccine. No, no. No. That was, it That's was stimulus. We need to talk about the vaccine, but it was about the stimulus. The stimulus package, I hope everybody got their money. Spend it wisely. And and let me say, spend it wisely means do the stuff that you like. Mm. I'm, I'm really tired of seeing all these memes. People talking about like, like, don't waste the money. You're talking about $1,400. I know. What you mean don't waste it? I know it's fourteen hundred. By definition, you have to waste it. Mm-hmm. That's not an investment. Right. Fourteen hundred dollars is not an investment. No. In anything. Mm-mm. Unless you're investing in a popsicle stand. Mm-hmm. You yep. can make a mean popsicle stand. Right with, outside your house. <laughs> right outside. Yep. Go go to Lowe's, get you some plywood. Yeah. Get you some cardboard for the front. Yeah. And the little get you make it a little on it. You could probably even paint it. I think with fourteen hundred dollars, yeah. you could. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You could get extra sugar. Matter of fact, I'm a popsicles. Nah, you know, you know what? I'm not even doing popsicles because then you need a freezer. Yeah. You could do a, a, a lemonade stand. You could. 
You get could, you a little cooler. Yeah, get you a cooler with the ice yeah. and a scooper. You could buy, probably buy the scooper for like $20. Mm-hmm. A bunch of lemons are cheap and sugar yeah. and water. Right. Bomb lemonade with it. That's an investment. Yeah. So if you're 10, <laughs> you got your, your little $1,400 check, then yes, make a wise business decision. Are 10 year olds getting $1,400? No. But kids are getting money. They're getting money. Well, the you parents are getting money for the kids. Okay. So So if you're a single mom or a single father with one child, how much money are you getting? I have no idea. 1400 for the mom, certainly. The mom. And then I think you get like 700 or something like that. Don't get me lying. But it's an, a, yeah, there's a couple hundred child. dollars for, for child, per, yeah. per child. Yeah. Right. But I'm saying, if you chose... You could hand that money to your 10 year old and they could open up a lemonade stand and it will probably be the best lemonade stand in America. Yeah, for 1400. I think so. Yeah. 1400. Ain't nobody Little Susie ain't putting 1400 into her right. lemonade stand. Yeah. But if she did, that lemonade better be fire. Yeah, it better be. It's a lot of money. And in my opinion, if you go all out and you do 1400 for your lemonade stand, Charge five dollars for your lemonade. You could start a chain with fourteen hundred dollars. That's what probably. I'm saying. Like hit every corner. Yeah, of the, get of the get block. get every every corner on the block. You mm-hmm. have your little subsidiaries. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. Get little little Jamal. Let let Jamal in, and please let Jose please, in too. Please. Can can we be nice? Can y'all please just be nice? Yeah. Yeah. And Muhammad, get Muhammad a run. Yeah, Muhammad never gets run. Never. Listen. And what's the eight? What's the Asian name? We need them too, because I need I need that. Chang. Is that a we're so racist. <laughs> That's not racist, is it? No, because we're trying to be inclusive, so that makes it okay. But Chang is actually somebody's name. I'm not. T- I, listen. At least the last name. The, the Asian delegation. Yeah, get together and let us know. <laughs> what, what's what, a good name? What's a good name? A good hit. Yeah, I think Chang sounds pretty you right. Think? Yeah. All right, fine. So we got Sue, but why did Susie have to start it? Even in my imagination, the white people started it. It's conditioning. That's man. crazy. I didn't even think about that. I didn't either. <laughs> even because when my- you said Susie, I immediately pictured a little white girl, but I didn't picture the even problem. Even in my with that. imagination, that's infiltration right there. It is. That's crazy. And we all, we're all, we all suffer from it. Yeah. Everybody, and don't even realize y- it. Y'all just saw it in action. That's white supremacy in action. It, it is. It's played out in my head. It I'm is. I'm not even joking. That's crazy. Yeah, Washington and Jefferson College. They were slave owners. Straight up. Mm, that's a good point. Both of them. Straight up. And they got they got statues. Mm-hmm. Colleges named after. We but revere them. Di- di- that's a digression. We always We digress, digress every five we should, minutes We should on call this show. show The Digression. The Digression. That's actually a good idea. I, I like know. Because it is. 